I'm here at Heritage Tractor. We just bought a used riding lawnmower. We were actually looking for side-by-sides and talking about tractors. This was a super good value, and I've got a good feeling about these folks. Just seem like great people to work with, and they gave us some good information for other kind of machines that we might be doing in the future. So they're going to go ahead and deliver that for us tomorrow. It'll be nice to have a new piece of equipment for the farm. Patching those holes where those fiberglass skylights had been is proving to be a little more difficult than I anticipated. For some reason, the studs on that far side were just fine, but the ones on this side were rotted. I've already pieced in new studs. went several places but they all said the same thing the roof panels up there are not being made anymore it's a completely non-standard width so what we have here is a classic square peg round hole problem ideally new panels would just match up with the old ones and slide right up the same grooves now because I don't want to completely re-roof the place I'm going to just have to patch it the best I can. The roofing panels that are up there right now are all attached with gasket ring shank nails. Because of my new panels are going to be a little more vulnerable to high winds, and we've got a little bit of a breeze today, that'll make it a little more difficult for me. I'm going to attach the new ones with ring shanked screws. A little better holding power. We thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and wait for a day without as much wind. Today's not so bad. When we get up on the roof, you'll see that I used some tape to mark where the studs are so when I put the metal panels over there, I don't have to guess too much about where to put the screws.
it's a little wavy, but overall, it looks better than I thought it would. Oh, it's the acorns they're eating. You like those little crunchy acorns? Mark is here with the mower. We're just unloading it now. Just getting the mower, not the side by side. At least not the side by side yet. I want to give a shout out to Mark from Heritage Tractor. He was our sales representative and, as it turned out, it was convenient for him to deliver it for us as well. I believe he said it was his father or his grandfather who originally opened that dealership. He helped us get a good machine at a good value and he was nice enough to agree to be on camera. Buying used equipment can be a good way to save money, fingers crossed, but I think it was a good decision for us. One safety precaution that Wendy thought of, and I'm glad she did, is putting my cell phone in the little compartment right next to the seat so it doesn't just fall out of my pocket and I run over it with a lawnmower.
fresh grass and leaves. Just what a growing goat needs. Nobody wants to see Brian. They just want to see the goats. Look at that goat. He loves it. Don't you do this, Clyde? Are you the world's most rotten goat? Hmm? Come on, arrows. You want some grass? How about you? Do you want some grass? All right. I'll get the other one too. You can put some in there, other thing. That's good, yeah. Ridiculous. Mm, you think? Just wanted to share one quick thought. We just recently moved out here from Oregon and didn't bring any of our chickens. It's so weird to have kitchen scraps and just have to throw them away. I was so used to, over the last several years, being able to give most everything to chickens. Anyway, I want you to remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thank you very much for taking this trip around the moon with us.